And I've been here two years and I haven't experienced that yet. But when was the last time? When was the last time we had a, a message in tongues or a word of prophecy? I had a word of prophecy this morning. I already had that in my message, but, but when was the last time before then? When was the last time I confirmed healing? Whatever it may have been. When was the last time we saw the gifts of the Holy Spirit? We need to pray. God, let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Hallelujah. Would you bow your hands? Father, let it rain this morning. Let it rain upon us. Let it rain upon us. Pour out the Holy Spirit, Father, today. Hallelujah. I'm going to begin to play and sing, but I want to ask you to join me. I'm going to go quit here in just a few minutes. And I'm going to get in the altars myself. Would you come? Would you begin to seek the Lord? Even if you don't know what to pray, just begin to pray this simple song. Let it
God draw me, not just in the church service, but Father, we pray that we begin to have such an effect on the world around us that people would begin to be saved. Father, our friends, our neighbors, our Lord, the strangers that we meet, that they begin to see Jesus in us and be attracted to us. Be attracted not to our personality, no, not to our goodness, but to Jesus in us. As the Pharisees recognized it and the disciples said, for they have been with Jesus. God, I pray today, may the world see there's something different about us. May our church begin to be filled, Father, with those who are coming to Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, let it be in these last days before your return. Lord, let it be to the rain down upon us. Hallelujah. As we hunger and thirst after you today, let it rain. Let it rain. Lord, let it rain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let it rain today, Lord. Praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Saturated, filled, and empowered by the Holy Spirit. Saturated, filled, and empowered. It was an evangelist, I think in the 1800s, I'm not really sure. His name was Charles Finney. Some of you may have heard of Charles Finney. Powerful evangelist. Filled with the Holy Spirit. Traveled about. It was said that in his preaching, before the altar call was given, people would begin literally to fall out of their chairs into the aisles where they really were, fall out of their chairs under the conviction of the Holy Spirit. He was saturated, he was filled, and overflowing. Told that he would go into factories, he would be invited in. Imagine this happened today, he would be invited to go into factories, perhaps to speak. And when he would walk in the doors and walk past people, I especially specifically, I read his, not all, but most of his memoirs, um, a very, very thick, thick book, walked into a sewing factory, just lines of, of ladies sewing, and he's walking in. And ladies begin to fall out on the floor in the conviction of the Holy Spirit. We worry about what we're going to say, how we're going to say it. We'll be saturated, filled, and overflowing with the Holy Spirit. God will do the rest. It's not up to us. When there's words need to be spoken, you'll have the words to speak. But more than anything else, you need to be. I need to be saturated. Let it rain. Filled up. Let it begin to come up out of the depths like we preached last week. And like the springs of Van Gurren and wherever else, let it begin to overflow out of our lives. Father, that's our prayer today. That's our prayer. God, I just got to stay here. I just got to stick with this. Lord, until we begin to see the evidence. Father, until we begin to see the move of the Spirit. God, I don't know about other churches and other communities, other places, other people. God, I just know right here in Ozark Bethel, I know right here in my co-baker, there needs to be an outpouring that comes from you that saturates me from head to toe, inside and out, Lord, throughout my life. There needs to be an infilling, Lord, a, a baptism uh, in the knee, Lord, until it overflows and becomes a power, the power of God flowing out. Father, not just to be able to stand in a pulpit to preach, 
but to be able to live righteously in Christ Jesus every day, to be able to take Jesus Christ to a lost and dying. Behold, you stand at the door and knock. God, I, I hear the knock today. And Father, I'm, I'm trying to get the door open. Help me open the door and let you back into your church, into our lives, that the Spirit of God might run for you. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. Thank you for each one who's had a part of this service today. Be glorified, we ask, Lord. In Jesus' name, this morning. Amen. Amen. Remember, Marty and I, first part of this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we will be in Branson and minister spiritual renewal that the district does. You just pray. Pray the heavens will open and the rain will pour out spiritually upon us. Because I'm not the only spirit. I'm not the only preacher that's praying this way. Pray for that for me. God bless you. We love you all this morning.